Good morning, friends. I believe uh, the other guy was talking about the frozen hole of Hoth here in the northern wasteland. But uh, we're talking about batteries and winter. So we heard in the news about all these poor buggers not being able to charge their Teslas and, you know, making meat popsicles because they're freezing to death. So we're talking about lithium batteries, rechargeable, lithium ion, lithium polymer, battery chemistry. In the wintertime, batteries have limitations. Uh, just as our friend Evan here flows in the winter, our buddy Mr. Water does not. So batteries are a electrochemical reaction. So when you charge these rechargeable lithium batteries, whether they're polymers or uh, ion, whatever they may be, the temperature needs to be uh, within an operating range for these to perform within specification. Now you have, you know, different specifications like the off-brand batteries may not be as good as the, the Milwaukee batteries. But uh, if you notice, this is red lithium. That was an iteration after the first generation. They actually have a wider operating range. So the batteries uh, will operate almost all the way down to zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty good. Um, but keep in mind, you know, your automobiles are outdoors uh, unless uh, you have them garaged 24-7, but uh, they generally operate outdoors. Now, when these batteries are in service and they're being discharged, they do put off heat, and uh, some of them are designed with heater packs. Uh, this is just a vacuum battery, but uh, sometimes these packages that are in the cars have heaters built into them so that they can come up to operating temperature and, you know, provide you with some headlights and stuff, you know, a little heat. Maybe even a little motion, but uh, the chemistry in these, they need to be at a certain temperature in order to charge them or discharge them. Otherwise, you may break down uh, the layers and the cells in the battery uh, or the battery packs themselves. Uh, they, are, they are a consumable item. They do not last forever. So, you know, mind you, however, we're making these, you know, destroying third world nations and stuff to, to make these for your cars. Um, and it creates waste, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about, you know, eight degrees in Albany, New York today. So your reactions are going to slow down. Uh, I know my motorcycle battery tells you to actually leave the headlight on for 15 to 30 seconds in order to warm the battery up. So the discharge is actually starting to warm the battery up. So that way you have more, uh, Ampacity, you have more current available to crank over your vehicle. Um, you know, with an electric car, obviously, you need a lot of current in order to move that vehicle, but also to charge it. You know, if it's below a certain temperature, your charger is going to protect your battery. Now, mind you, if you have a cheap knockoff, it's not going to have all the electrical goodness, all the electronics. This is going to have a far superior uh, motherboard in there, um, you know, which is printed circuit board and a bunch of. Uh, controls to protect your investment because if you over discharge or charge uh these cells you can damage them and that that's an expensive endeavor to replace them so tesla is doing you a solid by not letting you charge these in the cold if uh they're not designed to do that now i don't know what else is going on with their packs but uh you know they've put a lot of research into this you know they they make stuff flow in the winter got zooks and, uh, you know, we don't have any of that. But you guys are having trouble with your Teslas. So be mindful. It's something to be aware of. Uh, your electric vehicles do have limitations as far as their operating parameters in the cold and the heat. Heat kills batteries. Okay. Now, they need to be within an operating range in order to do what they got to do, charge and discharge. And that's their C rating. Okay. Um you guys can Google that. I'm not going to get into that. But there are operating parameters for your Streamlight batteries and all this stuff. Um, you know, if you have power tool batteries, uh, when you plug them in after you've, you know, cut through your, your house or your car or whatever you're cutting through, cut through the town, uh, they'll flash at you and tell you, hey, it's 
too hot. I can't charge right now. You need to leave me alone. Or it's too cold. I need to warm up. So something to be aware of. Uh, your name brand batteries, even the Ryobis and stuff will have uh, that sort of technology. Some of the off-brand batteries will not. Um, something to be aware of. So that is partially why they are a fire hazard because they are overcharging or over discharging they're working outside of the parameters of your batteries uh, i hope uh, that this helps people understand a little more about their electric vehicles teslas or or whatnot uh, you know mr ford mr ford i think is uh pulling the plug so to speak i don't think they're gonna go too far into the electric rate right yet the technology is still you know it's it's not mature enough to be mainstream for everyone it is a a finite uh we'll say a finite thing <clears throat> and has its purposes as to power tool batteries and everything else but uh hope you guys stay warm bring a lot of coats it's cold uh don't depend on your vehicle to survive make sure you got an extra coat and a phone and be prepared have a great day god bless